I can see White Bird thinking that's childish. I can see Jim and everybody else thinking that's childish. I think that lines up with everything. I wanted to make this video since One Piece chapter 1060. After the One Piece live action, I think they just gave us the answer. Now, remember, Luffy and Roger has the same dream. Exact same dream. What do we know as fact? They have the same dream, Luffy and Roger, and it's something childish. Whitebeard, Odin, and the rest had the same reaction that the Straw Hats did when knowing the dream. Now let's go through elimination. It can be anything world government related. Luffy as a kid, when he had the dream, he didn't know about the world government. Or at least, if that's what it is, I don't think I would like that very much, and it would probably be terrible writing, because when, who, where, how, or what did Luffy know about the world government? to have the dream be related to destroying the world government. We can take that out of the picture. Same as like destroying the red line and having all the blues come together and to be one blue as in the one piece. If that's also the dream, I think we could also take that out of the way because the same reason. Kid Luffy didn't know about the grand line, the blues, the red line, calm belt. So destroying that wouldn't make sense to be his dream. And I don't know if that would be something that white beard and the rest would call it childish. So what's left? Have a big banquet? They throw a big party at the end of every arc. I don't think the dream would be like having the biggest banquet ever of like all the island, all his friends that he ever met come to one. I don't think that's what it is. It might be. That's that's. I see a lot of people think that's what it is. And that just might be it. But I just think there's a better option. Since Luffy was a kid, he wanted to be a pirate. Shanks was a pirate. Luffy wanted to be a pirate. Ace wanted to be a pirate. Sabo wanted to be a pirate. What do people say? Pirates are bad. Pirates are evil. You shouldn't be a pirate. Don't do that. Garp wanted to make him be a marine. Shanks told him he wasn't ready to be a pirate the first time he tried. And pirates are just known as these evil, notorious people. In a live action, Luffy keeps saying, I'm a different type of pirate. Shanks told them that you should be strong, but you should also be good. When Nami said all pirates are the same, all pirates are evil, all pirates are scum, he's like, not the pirates I know, referring to Shanks. Shanks is a very mellow guy. He don't go around destroying stuff that we know. Picking out his crew in a live action. Kept saying, Zoro was a good guy, Sanji a good guy, Usopp a good guy, Nami a good person, a good gal. So I started putting the two and two together from the anime and the live action. And the live action gave me the confidence to actually come out and make a video of what I think Luffy dream actually is. And I think what his what he wants from since he was a kid to actually make sense was just to change the way people see pirates. Luffy's dream is to change the outlook on pirates as the new pirate king. He want the imagery of plundering and villainy to move away. Of course, pirates probably would still do that. There's nothing he can do about that. But if he can do what he been doing, going to islands, every time we go to an island, he befriends that island, make friends of that island, and they become his allies. They, you see in the reverie, every princess that was there had nothing but great things to say about Luffy. From Alabaster to Dress Rosa to Drum. Every time Luffy leaves the island, the people from that island knows Luffy is a good guy. He's not the same as every pirate. Now, if Luffy can do that as Pirate King, that just expands the scale. At that point, you can say majority of the islands in the Grand Line, if he's a Pirate King, I think that's very safe to say, would have met him and known his true character. Because you know, people think he's a menace from what they read in newspaper. Then you meet him and like, he's actually a green guy. So from that, putting together, that's very childish. To have the world change their view on pirates and think pirates are good. I can see Whitebeard thinking that's childish. I can see Jim and everybody else thinking that's childish. I think that lines up with everything. Roger could also wanted that because Roger wasn't just a wild meathead evil grrr, going around killing people either. He wanted adventure and to know the truth. And that's what piracy means to Luffy and also a big theme of One Piece is freedom. If at the end of the day, Luffy is like, I just want everybody to set sail, go to sea, 
just to be free, just to have fun. Go find Island, go find Treasure. Yeah, you're going to throw some hands because he's still goofy. He still does like fighting. He would still probably be like, yeah, if you want something, you got to beat somebody up for it. Go beat him up. Sure. But when it comes to like full captivity and stuff like that, that would be moved away. And under that, piracy would definitely have like a, a better name than what it does now. The world government framing pirates as the villains would definitely be harder if Luffy is able to change the narrative and how people see pirates. I definitely think that's what Luffy's true goal is, to change the narrative on piracy. He can definitely do that by becoming king of the pirates, which is his goal. Achieve his goal to achieve his dream. Become king of pirates, then change the narrative of how people see pirates. Yeah, I know, I know that you gon' say, cause you need something real, for real.